Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in today's video we will be discussing important current affairs of 13th of august the session will be very important and interesting so do pay attention till the end here we will be discussing many current affairs that will be very helpful for you so do take a note and do watch this video till the end also friends as you can see there is whole circle of circus first you have to think of the idea then you have to implement for the idea then you have to work for that idea and sometimes that first of all sometimes it happens that you are working for that particular aim or goal but in the first attempt you are not able to crack that exam similarly you have to try again then again then again and again you have to keep trying until you reach the goal that you have been aiming for or the aim or the exam that you have been preparing for or thinking that you will be clear clearing that particular exam so never lose your focus just keep working hard and one day you will definitely success in the particular field also friends you can subscribe to our youtube channel also side by side you can like our video as well as comment below and let us know the comment in the comment section that the content that we are providing is up to the mark also friends you know that we have a name of achieving of 15,000 views on our daily videos and also share this link this aim of 15,000 videos can be achieved just by sharing the link of this video with two to three whatsapp groups be it your friends cousins relatives or neighbors and let them know about affairs cloud that it is a one-stop solution for current affairs should we start with the current news yes for today's news sir i always uh, in daily video friends i always recommend you to make notes all right and today also i'll be suggesting the same because we have so many interesting current affairs today that can be asked in your exam for example recently imd that is your india meteorological department japanese government and UNDP that is your united nation development program the headquarter of which is in new york so remember IMD, Japanese government and UNDP, they together launch a joint project to accelerate the climate action in India. You can see that there is has been a huge rise in temperature in climate, not just in India. Also, if you are able to see the current news that is going on, you will see the huge, huge heat wave that is going all over the world. Not just heat wave, you will be seeing the droughts that is happening in Europe because of the climate change so to accelerate the climate action 
to launch projects that will be working towards making our climate a better place for living imd japanese government and undp came together to launch a joint project to accelerate the climate change highly important all right they have launched new initiative to accelerate climate action in 10 states and union territories across india here the main aim is to foster green jobs and green innovations in the renewable energy sector by providing skills and trainings to more than 2000 people remember the initiative will support national determined contributions help to achieve net zero emission and also support climate resilient development for this initiative government has given uh, japan has given 5.16 million dollar to undp india for climate funding highly important all right then remember which three organization we are talking about it is your imd india meteorological department that comes under the ministry of earth science then the government of japan and third is your undp that is your united nation development program headquarter of which is in new york so these three organizations came together and they launched new initiative to accelerate climate action in 10 states and union territories across india all right highly important friends remember with the help of this initiative around 150 healthcare facilities 20 micro enterprises will be solarized and also supply solar energy to 85 electric vehicle charging stations and 30 solar cold storage facilities in those 10 states the states that are the unit territory that we are talking about here is bihar delhi ncr gujarat jharkhand madhya pradesh maharashtra odisha sikkim uttarakhand and up next all right next news is nbcc what is nbcc that is your national buildings construction corporation limited signed an mou with the ministry of external affairs for what for redevelopment of the mea housing complex at kasturba gandhi mark in new delhi i repeat national building construction corporation limited signed an mou with ministry of external affairs for with ministry of external affairs for the redevelopment of the building or the mea housing complex at the kasturba gandhi mark that is in new delhi the tentative cost for the redevelopment project is to be around 175 crore rupees highly important friends so which two organization came together for the redevelopment of the mea housing complex at kasturba gandhi mark it is your nbcc and ministry of external affairs next next news is university of hyderabad this is the first among the indian universities in 2022 nature index ranking i repeat first of all tell me where is this university of hyderabad this is in telangana all right this university of hyderabad that is in telangana remember it was placed first among the indian universities and 16th among all the institutions in india in the academic sector in the nature index ranking of 2021 so indirectly if we say in the nature index ranking of 2022 which ranking or which institute has stopped here or which university topped here it was your university of hyderabad that secured the top position in this particular nature index 2022 rankings highly important friends all right these rankings are based on nature index data from 1st of april 2021 to 31st of march 2022 the nature index is an indicator of high quality research in natural and physical sciences including chemistry life sciences earth environmental sciences and physical sciences all right next next is rbi rbi has recently remember issued regulatory framework to make digital lending safe for members of the public and curb malpractices and to mitigate the concerns arising from credit delivery through digital lending method the framework is focused on the digital lending ecosystem that comprising RBI regulated entities and lending service providers are engaged by them to extend various permissible credit facilitation services. I repeat, RBI has issued regulatory framework to make digital lending safe for the members of the public. It will help us to curb the malpractices and to mitigate the concerns arising from the credit delivery through the digital lending methods. Also remember, if we talk about 
आरबीआई आरबीआई हैज कैंसल्ड द लाइसेंस ऑफ रूपी कॉपरेटिव बैंक लिमिटेड इन पुणे महाराष्ट्र देयर बाय प्रोहिबिटिंग द बैंक फ्रॉम कंडक्टिंग द बिजनेस ऑफ बैंकिंग व्हिच इंक्लूड्स एक्सेप्टेशन ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स एंड रीपेमेंट ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स ऑलराइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट पॉज द वीडियो और जस्ट गो थ्रू इट वंस अगेन मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज नवी म्यूचुअल फंड हैज लॉन्च इंडियाज फर्स्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडेक्स फंड इंपॉर्टेंट All right this is basically related to your mutual funds only so navi mutual fund formerly known as sl mutual fund has launched its sixth fund of the year 2022 that is the navi nifty india manufacturing index which is india's first open ended manufacturing index fund the fund is an open ended equity scheme replicating the nifty india manufacturing index which tracks the performance of manufacturers among the top 300 companies in india navi 50 india manufacturing index also aims to simplify investing in indian market many or indian manufacturing sector all right the companies are selected from the combined universe of nifty 100 and nifty mid cap 150 and nifty small cap 50 index based on the 6 month average free float market all right so that was your about navi mutual fund all right next next we are talking about rbi rbi has disallowed the use of letter of comfort what is this letter of comfort first of all remember a letter of comfort is a document that is issued by the parent company telling the bank that one of its subsidiaries has acquired a loan important i repeat what is a letter of comfort it is a type of a document that is issued by the parent company that will be telling a bank that one of their subsidiaries has acquired a loan according to it the parent company supports the subsidiary during the process and will offer assistance as needed generally it is granted by the foreign companies with subsidiaries and branches in india this is your letter of comfort if we talk about rbi who is the governor shaktikant das when was it established in 1935 so remember what we are talking about here is that rbi has disallowed the use of letter of comfort that means rbi prohibited the use of letter of comfort a document that gives guarantee of support to the borrower without any promise to make good and defaults so this move will downgrade the credit rating of roughly 100 firms equal to 35000 crore or rupees of debt all the credit rating agencies were instructed to dis grad uh, disregard these letters in a guidance note and frequently ask questions documents that rbi published in 2022 on april 2022 and july 26 respectively so remember rbi has disallowed the use of letter of comfort all right highly important moving on to next news next is airtel africa has signed up for a 125 million dollar credit bond with city bank i repeat Airtel Africa has signed a credit bond with City for 125 million dollar revolving facility the facility involves borrowing both in local currencies and US dollars the facility has a tenure of up to 24 of up to September 2024 and will be used to support Airtel's Africa's operations and investments in four of its subsidiaries this provides interest rate saving in exchange for achieving social impact to real late digital inclusion and gender diversity and focus on rural areas and women so it is airtel africa that has signed up a 125 million credit bond with city bank highly important next next is shashithrur shashithrur will be receiving france highest civilian award that is chevalier the legion de honor award all right it is also known as the legion of honor highly important the legion of honor or the chevalier de la legion de honor this award will be that is the highest civilian award of france will be awarded to whom it will be awarded to shashi tharoor highly important all right he will he will be awarded this award for his writings and speeches the award will be conferred on him by the french government during the next visit of any minister of the french government to india the national order of the legion of honor formerly the royal order of the legion of honor is the highest french order of the merit and this prime it will be pro, uh, given to whom this award will be awarded to shashi tharoor highly important if we talk about shashi tharoor remember he is formerly 
uh, he was the former international diplomat politician writer public intellect serving as the member of parliament of kerala since 2009 he served 29 years in united nations rising to the position of under secretary general for communications and public information in 2002 if we talk about some of the important books of shashi tharoor they are bookless in baghdad india shastra an era of darkness why i am a hindu the paradoxical prime minister the hindu way and introduction to hinduism so these are some of the books that have been authored by or are the books of shashi tharoor authored by shashi tharoor all right and this time he will be awarded with which award the name of the award is the leaner legion of honor that is the japan's high or that is the france highest civilian award next next is government has reappointed four independent directors on rbi central board i repeat government has reappointed four independent directors on the board of the reserve bank of india for another four years these four independent directors that is the center appointed these directors including swaminathan guru murthy and cooperative movement veteran satish kashishnath marathi with the effective from 11th of august 2022 or until the further orders whichever is earlier all right highly important here friends remember this then next important news friends remember all right this was an okay news you can take a note of it but this news is very important remember recently united nations security general antonio gutters has appointed a veteran argentina naval officer rear admiral gulmaro pablo rios i repeat gulmaro Pablo Rios has been appointed as the head of mission and chief military officer or chief military observer for the United Nations military observer group in India and Pakistan highly important friends i am saying it again and again so do take a note of it united nations security general antonio gutters appointed veteran argentina naval officer rear admiral gulmero Pablo Rios as the head of the mission as well as the chief military observer for the United Nations military observer group in India and Pakistan remember real admiral gulmero pablo rios will succeed major general jose eladio elcian of uruguay south america who completed his assignment shortly and if we talk about this united nations military group in india and pakistan this was established in the year 1949 in india and pakistan at islamabad and srinagar to oversee the ceasefire between india and pakistan in the state of jammu and kashmir all right highly important friends so you have to remember the name that is gulmero pablo rios he will be the new head of mission and chief military observer for the united nations military observer group in india and pakistan and when was this group found it was founded in 1949 to look at the cease fire and it was found at islamabad and srinagar next next is automated online data transfer launched for capturing critical data of auto pli investors i repeat ministry of heavy industries has launched an automated online data transfer for capturing critical data related to domestic value addition in the production linked incentive scheme for the auto sector the new sector will capture data from pli applicants erp that is your enterprise resource planning system to pli auto portal all approved applications of the pli scheme have their own it enabled erp system that is a prototype of a software that organizations use to manage business activities this smooths the transfer of data from the applicants existing erp system to the pli auto portal of hmi or uh, of ministry of home affairs all right ministry of not home affairs i repeat ministry of heavy industries all right so mhi is your ministry of heavy industries and who is the union minister here dr mahindra nath pandey is the current union minister of ministry of heavy industries so coming back here remember automated online data transfer launched for capturing critical data of auto pli investors and remember it is ministry of heavy industries that has launched this automated online data transfer for capturing critical data related to domestic value addition in the product layer production linked incentive scheme for auto sector next elephant day on 12th of august we observe elephant day it is to create awareness on the elephant conservation and to share knowledge and positive solutions for the better protection and management of wildlife and captive elephants 
it also highlights the need for the protection of elephant and laws and measures to be enacted to ensure the survival of elephant this year in 2022 it was the 11th anniversary of the world elephant day highly important friends all right it was the 11th anniversary of the world in elephant day in 2022 next is international youth day international youth day is annually celebrated on 12th of august to raise awareness about regarding the issues that are faced by world's youth the purpose is to spread the message that action is needed from all generations to achieve the agenda of 2030 and its 17 sustainable development goals and leave no one behind the theme that here that you need to remember for this international youth day is for 2022 is intergenerational solidarity creating a world for all ages important this is the theme for the 2022 edition of the international yoga day that is intergenerational solidarity creating a world for all ages all right next next is a state news that is related for the related to the protecting of the coastline odisha government has signed a pact with the national institute of ocean technology that is niot for protecting its coastline so remember it was odisha government that has signed an mou with whom and iot that is your national institute of ocean technology the reason was this for the protection of the coastline the mou was signed by the water resources department engineer in uh, of niot in chennai tamil nadu all right the odisha water resources minister tukuni shahu was also present during the occasion under this mou remember niot will provide technical guidance design and drawing of the climate resilient coastal protection measures the six coastal districts of odisha include balasore bhadrak kendrapara and jagashtishpur puri and ganjam these will be benefited with the help of the mou that is being done currently all right the mou will be a milestone in the disaster risk reduction in the coastal areas of the state also remember odisha it has a vast coastline of about 480 km and the coastal areas are exp- exposed to natural disasters like cyclones which cause high tidal waves with very high wind speed resulting in the loss of lives and property all right if we talk about niot that is your national institute of ocean technology this is under the ministry of earth science in india's premier institute which specializes in the field of ocean engineering and coastline production here the director will be g a ramadas it was established in the year 1993 and the headquarter is in chennai tamil nadu all right friends so remember it is odisha government and niot that has signed an mou for the protection of the coastline there next is chirag what is chirag chirag stands for chief minister equal education relief assistance and grant i repeat haryana government that is led by the chief minister manohar lal khattar as you can see in the picture he has introduced a chirag scheme that is chief minister equal education relief assistance and grant scheme under the scheme the government of haryana would offer free education in budget private schools to government schools students from economically weaker section it replaced a similar scheme that was initiated by bupender singh hudda government in the year 2007 of haryana school education rules 2003 under this remember government school students whose parents have annual income of less, less than 1.8 lakh rupees can enroll in private schools from class 2 to class 12 under the chirag scheme the government will reimburse rupees 700 per student from class 2 to 5th 700 rupees from 2 to 5th 900 rupees from 6th to 8th and from Uh, 1100 rupees from class 9 to 12 this is the amount that will be reimbursed by the government under this chirag scheme remember private uh, budget private schools predominantly in rural and small towns apply to offer seats to ews students due to various technical reasons only 381 schools were deemed eligible and these schools provided around 25000 seats for ews students for from government schools all right highly important so remember this chirag scheme you have to remember the full form of the scheme you have to remember this was launched by which state and what is the aim of this particular scheme 
नेक्स्ट न्यूज इज फ्रेंड्स इट इज रिगार्डिंग फ्लिपकार्ट फ्लिपकार्ट हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद वाराणसी दैट इज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ यूपी अंडर द समर्थ प्रोग्राम आई रिपीट एंड इंडियन कॉमर्स कंपनी दैट इज फ्लिपकार्ट साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ वाराणसी टू एम्पावर नेशनल मार्केट एक्सेस फॉर आर्टिशंस वीवर्स एंड पीपल विद डिसबिलिटीज हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट I repeat it is Flipkart that has signed an MOU with the district of administration uh, district administration of Varanasi or we can say directly that Flipkart signed an MOU with Varanasi government for to empowering the national market access for artisans weavers and people with disabilities under this particular iconic product uh, like under this partnership products like Varanasi saree handmade carpets zardugi uh, zardozi craft metal crafts and handmade dari from the up will be made available on the flipkart platform that means all the artisans all the weavers and people who are working in this field will be able to list their products directly on the flipkart that will enhance their market audience all right highly important friends remember this so friends these were some your important current affairs now we will quickly revise them in one go japan government imd and undp launched a joint project project to accelerate the climate action in india nbcc signed a pact with mea to redevelop the housing complex for 175 crore rupees university of hyderabad that is in telangana is first among the indian universities in 2022 for nature index ranking rbi issued digital lending norms to curb mal practices and cancels the booking license of rupee cooperative bank in pune navi mutual fund has launched their first manufacturing index fund RBI has disallowed the use of letters of comfort to impact debt worth rupees 35000 crore rupees next atel africa has signed up for a 125 million dollar credit bond with city shashi tharoor to receive chevalier de legion de honor that is the highest civilian award of france government has reappointed four independent directors on rbi central board argentina rear admiral antonio gutters he has appointed a new united nation member for head of mission and the chief observatory chief mission observer for un mogip what is this un mogip this was established in 1945 and what is it we have discussed that it was united nations military observer group in india and pakistan so gulmero pablo rios has been appointed as the chief a uh, head of mission and chief military observer for the united nation military observer group in india and pakistan then mhi that is your ministry of heavy industries has launched automated online data transfer for capturing critical data of auto pli applications 12th of august is observed as world elephant day and it will be the 11th anniversary in 2022 of the world elephants day next is international youth day on 12th of august we will observe it with the theme Integ- uh, intergenerational solidarity creating a world for all ages then odisha signed a pact with niot that is your national institute of ocean technology for protecting coastline haryana government has launched a chirag scheme and this chirag scheme is chief minister equal education relief assistance and grant scheme for ews students flipkart has signed an mou with varanasi government under the samarth program to provide or to help the artisans weavers and other persons to list their products on the e-commerce company that is flipkart so that's all for the day friends i hope you have enjoyed our session now it's time for your homework first question is which institution regulates the digital lending activities in india second which countries are associated with trans himalayan multi dimensional connectivity network third which institution launched spark virtual space technology park important friends next as per the recent changes in atal pension yojana rules which category of beneficiaries are excluded fifth nipam which was seen in the news is associated with which field so these are the five question friends that are your homework and i want you all to comment below the answer of each and every one also friend not just this you know our target we want to achieve 15000 views on our daily videos for that you can share the link of this video if you find the content appropriate and you find the content that is up to the mark and therefore that reason you can share this link of this video with two to three whatsapp group be it your friends relation relationships or be it your neighbors or anyone and let them know about one stop solution that is affairs cloud for current affairs so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day 
that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue